Okay, YouTube, so here's another couple uh, leather pieces I did. And uh, although this wallet didn't turn out exactly like I wanted uh, by any means, I am going to use it because I <laughs> used the leather to make it. And uh, just some things I would do different next time. I would put the, uh, the clasp to close it. I would put it on the end rather than wrapped around the top. Um, my thinking was that this would keep all the credit cards or uh, anything I had in the wallet inside if it flipped over. So uh, this is hard to do. I mean, this is this part wasn't easy to make these little dividers for the for the cards. Um, so I'm fairly happy with that. This was my second wallet. Uh, the first one was a real disaster. So, you know, to do these, uh, for me to do these designs in a straight line and to get them all uh, in line, it was very difficult. And uh, I'm sure it takes years and years of practice before you really get a good feel you know instinctively of how to do this this is supposed to be barbed wire here so um, doing that border was the most most difficult part and then making these little uh, dividers was difficult so you can see some holidays on this wallet and that's uh, that's to be expected when you're first starting out I'm by no means a leather master um, <laughs> I have disasters that you can't see. I'll, I'll put them in here because ultimately when you start something new, uh, you're going to have a few failures. This I'm pretty happy with. This is another phone holder I made. It fits my phone pretty good. And uh, it's just, once again, just an exercise in different techniques of uh, working the leather and making designs so uh, really happy with that by the way I got this uh, I stole this from uh, Tandy Leather just really a uh, really nice uh, I believe it's a chrome tanned uh, piece I really like this color so uh, this and it, they have a good sale this weekend so you may want to go check out Tandy Leather if you're uh, doing some leather stuff and they changed the uh, manager at the store I go to, the Tandy Leather Store here in San Antonio. And uh, that makes a huge difference. The attitude of the employees at Tandy Leather was very helpful. And it seems like there was a general change in the store where uh, the new manager has a much more positive outlook on things. And so that helped out in getting the materials I needed to complete this project and this project. And then, you know, like I said, when you first start out, you're going to have failures. Uh, I was trying to make a scorpion there. That didn't work out. Um, I just really didn't like the way it turned out. And so, luckily, I started out with some scrap leather at uh, Hobby Lobby. Usually, it's five bucks for a small bag of uh, leather remnants and these are remnants that are more than likely used uh, when they make uh, cars so you get all different colors and but this obviously didn't turn out the way I wanted it so I just scrapped that and here's another uh, part where I was making the phone holder but as you can see on the top it's uneven so um, yeah I screwed that up and I, I don't like to waste the leather, so I'll use, probably use this in something else. Who knows what it is, but, uh, you know, but it didn't turn out this time. And again, here's, a, here's another uh, set of dividers I made for, the, for a wallet, but they weren't uh, wide enough. So they didn't fit the cards correctly, and I had to scrap that. You know, even though this is scrap leather, I mean, it still costs time and money to 
make these things so I don't want to make a bunch of mistakes but I am just starting out so yeah it happens if you're working on some kind of skill and you're just starting out uh, don't buy the most expensive tools and and don't buy the most expensive materials because you are going to make mistakes and don't worry about it it, it happens to everybody uh, stick with it this is Cav Trooper Munoz I'm out